Use code MATCASTER for 5% off your order from Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide. Use our code anytime you shop at Face to Face Games to support the show and get the cards you need at a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is January the 18th, 2023. And before we jump into things here, as per usual, I wanted to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield affiliate link, as well as a TCG player affiliate link. And any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting the losers list off here today with Esper Sentinel from Modern Horizons 2. This card is down 5.22% today from $27.37 to $25.94 for its market price, and its average price is $29. Force of Will, the borderless version of this card from Dominaria Remastered, down 5.24% from $80.54 to $76.32 for its market price, and its average price is $88.60. Thorn of Amethyst from Lorwyn, this card is down 6.26% from $20.92 to $19.61 for its market price, and its average price is $14.35. We've got a Secret Layer Series card here, Perfect Defense, which is also Defense of the Heart. This card is down 6.87% from $14.71 to $13.70 for its market price, and its average price is $15.14. Next up is another Secret Layer Series card, Thought Seize. This card is down 9.66% from $31.07 to $28.07 for its market price, and its average price is $36.25. We've got Acerec, the Arklich. From Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, down 12.78% from $8.45 to $7.37 for its market price, and its average price is $7.50. Our last loser of the day is Thrumming Stone from Cold Snap. This card is down 14.29% from $9.45 to $8.10 for its market price, and its average price is $9. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day. And we are going to start that list off here with... Morphin the Boundless. This card is up 5.34% from $26.42 to $27.83 for its market price. And its average price is $27.38. And this card was also reprinted on the list and that version of the card is sitting at $26.58 for its market price. And its average price is $28.00. This card also had a Judge Foil printing of it, and that card is currently sitting at $59.99 for its average price. And this card is seeing a ton of Commander play in decks like the Ur Dragon, and it's also seeing a lot of play as a Commander itself, with 33 registered copies on MTG Goldfish. Next up is Phyrexian Altar from Double Masters 2022. This card is up 5.46% from $25.46 to $26.85 for its market price, and its average price is $28.82. The foil etch version of this card from the same set is currently sitting at $32.77 for its market price, and its average price is $34.49. And the borderless version of this card as well from the same set is currently sitting at $28.37 for its market price, and its average price is $32.59. And the original version of this card from Invasion is sitting at $45.10 for its market price, and its average price is $42.84. And the Ultimate Masters version of this card, which is one of the more recent printings, is sitting at $26.78 for its market price, and its average price is $30.54. Next winner is Elish Norn Grand Cenobite from Iconic Masters. This card is up 5.59% from $23.97 to $25.31 for its market price, and its average price is $27.83. The original printing of this card from New Phyrexia is sitting at $29.04 for its market price, and its average price is $31.98. And the Judge promo version of this card, which also had Phyrexia in Texas, sitting at $133.10 for its market price, and its average price is $141.99. 
And the mystery booster version of this card is sitting at $27.59 for its market price and its average price is $27.30. This card is seeing a ton of commander play as a commander, and it's also seeing legacy play in decks like Reanimator and modern decks like Esper Control. Next winner on our list today is Exquisite Blood from Jumpstart. This card is at 5.60% from $25.53 to $26.96 for its market price, and its average price is $27.92. And the original printing of this card from Avison Restored is sitting at $23.85 for its market price, and its average price is $27.78. And the Secret Layer Series version of this card is sitting at $22.26 for its market price and its average price is $29.62. And the version on the list is currently sitting at $28.43 for its market price and its average price is $26.99. The next winner on our list today is another black card, Scytherix the Blight Dragon. And this is the Double Masters version of this card currently at 5.88% from $19.40 to $20.54 for its market price, and its average price is $21.60. And the original printing of this card from Scars of Mirrodin is sitting at $19.01 for its market price, and its average price is $20. And the version on the list is the cheapest, currently sitting at $18.72 for its market price, and its average price is $19.81. This card is seeing a ton of commander play in decks like Attracts Praetor's Voice, Cali of the Vast, as a commander itself, and in other decks like the Ur-Dragon. Next card on our list today is Mana Drain, and this is the Commander Legends version of this card at 5.97% from $35.03 to $37.12 for its market price, and its average price is $39.73. And the extended art version of this card from Commander Legends is sitting at $42.21 for its market price, and its average price is $50.61. And the Legends version of this card, which is the original version, is currently sitting at $266.60 and its average price is $250. And the Iconic Masters version of this card is currently sitting at $35.14 for its market price, and its average price is $41.21. Next winner on our list today is Land Tax, and this is the Double Masters version of this card, up 6.05% from $38.16 to $40.47 for its market price, and its average price is $37.97. The cheapest version of this card is the Battle Royale box set version of this card, currently sitting at $35.87 for its market price, and its average price is $35.61. And the most expensive version of this card is actually the Judge Promo version, and that version of the card is sitting at $84.70 for its market price, and its average price is $88.88. .88. And our final winner of the day is a card from Exodus that has been going up a lot in the past few weeks, Ravenous Baboons. This card is up 19.93% from $5.82 to $6.98 for its market price, and its average price is $8.97. And one of the main reasons why this card is going up is because of a card from Jumpstart 2022, and that card is Kibu Octavi Prince, and it's seeing a ton of, of play in that commander deck. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Malignus from Avison Restore. This foil is up 8.81% from $28.50 to $31.01 for its foil market price, and its average price is $26.99. The next foil on our list is Moloch, which is a Surge foil from Universes Beyond Warhammer 40k up 9.59% from $14.07 to $15.42 for its foil market price, and its average price is $44.96. Next up is Boil, which is also a Masterpiece Amonkhet Invocation card. This card is up 10.18% from $37.34 to $41.14 for its foil market price, and its average price is $38.89. Next up is Silent Arbiter from Fifth Dawn. This foil is up 11.39% from $44.06 to $49.08 for its foil market price, and its average price is $37.36. Next foil is Psychic Possession from Dissension. This foil is up 11.74% from $14.73 to $16.46 for its foil market price, and its average price is $16.49. Next foil is Diplomatic Immunity from Mercadian Mass. This old frame foil is up 12.09% from $28.70 to $32.17 for its foil market price, and its average price is $35.59. 
Next foil on our list is Mist of Stagnation from Judgment, another old frame foil up 13.56% from $10.99 to $12.48 for its foil market price, and its average price is $12.08. Next foil is Channel the Suns from Fifth Dawn. This foil is up 14.36% from $7.80 to $8.92 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7.00. The next foil is another old frame foil from Invasion, Spreading Plague. This foil is up 26.43% from $40.37 to $51.04 for its foil market price, and its average price is $40.68. Our final foil of the day is another old frame foil, this time from Odyssey, Abotion's Desire, and this foil is up 45.69% from $8.58 to $12.50 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5.40. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering. Market Movers, it really, really means a lot to me. And if you could, could you hit the like button so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform. Obviously, all the likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel, and I'm forever grateful for that. Also, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards you're most surprised to see on the list, and which cards you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.